This is in real life. This is the body cam game. And the reason it went viral is because of its raw, unsettling realism, the chaos, the grit, and the unstable camera work that sells the whole illusion. But what if I told you that you could achieve this exact level of hyper-realistic, motion-heavy chaos without hours of complex keyframing or coding? You can. Today I'm showing you the ultimate pairing for instance the magic of in the engine. The perfect plugin for lens blind as an emotion for procedural physics or even camera movements. I will break down the key settings for both, and by the end of this video, you'll be able to create this perfect body cam look in just minutes. iBox, Benzo is here. Let's get started. All right, we're using the Perfector and Cinemotion plugins today. Find the links to both in the description below. Plugins are installed. Time to build this body cam rig. Assuming you've installed a plugin, first step is ensuring it's active. Head over to your plugins window to confirm it's checked. Then go to the Windows tab and make sure the Imperfecto window is open. In the Imperfecto window, we'll hit Add Effect. The first thing we need for that authentic body cam look is lens curvature and light fall off. So we're adding the overlay effect. The overlay effect is essentially a screen space mask that allows you to simulate the edges of a lens, dirt, or lighting fall off. It's perfect for creating a realistic vignette. To get that cool first person vignette, we'll keep the overlay type on gradient. Now, we just adjust the start and end position of the gradient and then the scale until we get that pleasing circular fall off that makes the image look like it's being recorded through a wide curved lens. Finally, let's head over to Processing Location and we want to change this to Before Tone Mapping. Processing Before Tone Mapping means the effect is applied before or really handles the final image, lighting, and color. This makes the vignette feel like a true physical effect of the camera or lens, integrated much more realistically into the image, rather than just being a simple post-processing layer. Next up, we need some lens grime. No handheld camera is perfectly clean, especially not a body cam. So let's get that lens dirt effect. So with that done, we have a cool layer of grime on the left. I'm going to make a subtle adjustment to the threshold here. This controls the visibility of the dirt, ensuring it only catches the brightest highlights and white sources, which is how dirt truly behaves on glass. With the dirt set, find exposure compensation settings. I'm going to set this value to zero. Now, the exposure compensation controls how much the dirt effect itself brightens the image. Since we want the dirt to look like it's blocking light, not generating it, setting it to zero prevents the dirt layer from artificially changing the overall exposure of our scene. This keeps the effect purely cosmetic and perfectly realistic. The next touch for our lens is the lens distortion effect. This is critical because the real body cams use cheap wire lenses that dramatically curve the image edges. This effect is simple but powerful. It applies a complex curvature to the final image, mimicking the imperfections of a realistic physical optic. We will adjust the intensity to control the overall strength of the curvature and then tweak the magnifier to fine tune how much the center of the image is pushed out. Dial these in until the straight lines near the edges of your viewport have that classic, unmistakable fish eyed body cam work. All right, now for the lens stack, we will add a subtle soften effect. This effect applies a slight, controllable blur across the screen. It's a quick cheat to mimic the overall loss of detail and lower resolution you would get from a real body cam lens and sensor, instantly preventing the image from looking too digital. I'm just gonna tweak the strength parameter a little bit. We don't want the image to look out of focus. The final effect we're adding here is sharp up. While we added a soften effect to simulate low quality sensor, we used sharpen to finish the image, specifically to enhance the contrast along the edges and bring back a feeling of crispness lost during rendering. That covers our core Imperfecto lens stack. Of course, there are tons of other parameters here that can get you radically different visual effects, from VHS damage to vintage film grain. 
The plugin's creator, Hubert, has comprehensive documentation on all of it. So make sure you check that out. The link is right down in the description. But for our body cam, the look is done. Now, let's get this camera moving like a real person using Cinemotion. After installing, make sure you have the Cinemotion folder in your content browser. As you can see, the plugin comes loaded with an overview map and handy subfolders, including ready to use sequencer content. To get started, I'm creating a new sequencer. I will add a fresh cine camera actor and quickly adjust its basic parameters. Now, for the magic, select your cine camera actor in the sequencer and click on track plus button. If you head over to template sequences, you will see we have tons of pre-made hyper-realistic camera motion effects right here. Cinemotion gives us ready-to-use motion like breathing, walking, running, and even controlled pans and tiling effects. This is a massive time saver for any cinematic. For our body cam, let's select the walking effect. Now, this is already cool because as I move my camera in the scene and set keyframes, the camera automatically combines my large manual key movement with the procedural realistic walking motion from the template. Now, this saves huge amounts of time, but here's where it gets even more fun. I will select this camera motion effect, press Ctrl E, and I can instantly change the motion from the subsequent dropdown. Let's pick a glance effect. Now, our camera has a different intentional behavior while still tracking our path. This makes block out complex action heavy cinematics incredibly fast. We can also change the speed of our motion using the play rate multiplier. If our character is moving faster, we can increase the multiplier or lower it down as an emotion automatically adjusts the frequency of the procedural shake to match the velocity. This is how you nail that realism. And there it is, the hyper-realistic body cam look achieved in just minutes, not hours, thanks to procedural tools. Stop hand-king the chaos and let the plugins do it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.